Hello viewers, this is Wagadari now taking you through today's tutorial on how to obtain initial approximation of a root using linear interpolation. So lesson one was about root location, in other words, finding the interval within which the root lies. In this tutorial, we are interested in getting the initial approximation of a root using linear interpolation method. So after locating the interval within which the real root of a given function lies, the initial approximation of this root can then be obtained using either linear interpolation or graphical method, depending on how the question is asked. So in this tutorial, you are interested in linear interpolation, then next lesson, that will be lesson 3, we shall learn graphical method. So if a function f x equal to 0 has a real root, between x equal to a and x equal to b, the initial approximation x naught of this root can be obtained using linear interpolation method. And this is based on the fact that fx f x naught it will be equal to 0. So we shall see how that method is, how it is done through this problem. The equation x sine root x equal to 1 has a root lying between a 1 and 2. So using linear interpolation once, find that find to two decimal places the value of this root. So in this case we are given this, first bring everything on one side and leave the 0 on the other side. So what is this side becomes your fx which is that. So we shall get f1 which is that and f2 which is that. Out of that, we remember the one, the initial approximation of the root. So the root will be between this because of the because of the sign change. This is negative. This is positive. So implying that the root is between one and two. So let that root be x naught, and should correspond to zero as f x. So in this case, we can use linear interpolation by saying this minus this divided by this minus that equal to this minus this divided by this minus that, which is this expression here. And making x not the subject, we shall come up with 1.14, and that will be our root to two decimal places. Problem 2, the equation x 3x minus 1 equal to cos 2x has only one real root between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 using linear interpolation using the interpolation to approximate this root. So in this case we are given that equation that will be our fx which is that and they told us there is a root between this and that so get the corresponding values of fx for 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. For 0 0.4 we shall get this and for 0 0.6 we shall get that. So yeah, we have got two pairs so we can draw at our table get x naught, x naught is not known, so it's one we want to get, it corresponds to 0. So in this case we shall say x naught minus 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4 is equal to 0 minus 0 0.498 divided by negative 0 0.438 minus 0 0.498. So only subs when we so simplify, we shall come up with zero x naught as 0 0.5064, and that will be our root. Then this problem, the equation ax equal to 4 sine x has a root between 1 and 1.5, using the interpolation to estimate the root to three decimal places. So do the same, first bring everything on one side and call that your fx. After that, get the corresponding values of 1 and 2, corresponding fx values for 1 and 2. For f1, it will be negative. For f1.5, it will be 0 0.4917. So come and draw a table. x0 is not known, but it corresponds to 0. So in this case, we shall say zero, x0 minus 1 over 1.5 minus 1 will be equal to 0 minus negative 0 0.6476 divided by 0 
minus negative 0 0.6476 which is that and when we make x not the subject we shall come up with 1.284 and that will be our root to three decimal places so that brings us to the end of our lesson thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel Roa e-learning platform